this is Paul from Embroidery Source and today we're going to take a quick look at how to create a simplified cut contour line around what is otherwise a, a complex object. Obviously the simpler we can make the cut line the, easy, the quicker it is to cut and the, and the easier it is to weed. In fact it becomes very much easier. So you can see the example I have on the screen now. Uh, what the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that. So we simply select all of the objects on the screen, press Ctrl D to duplicate it, and move the duplicated copy further down on the screen. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create an outline around all of those objects. And to do that, it's as simple as right-clicking on a color from the color bar. That will put a blue outline around everything on the screen. And now we're going to increase the thickness of that um, cut line or that uh, outline. And you'll see the toolbar uh, or the, the, the tool for the outline is down here in the right hand corner. If I double click on that, you can see currently the width of my outline is hairline. Now, if I choose to go to five millimeters and click OK, you'll see what's happened. It's it's created an outline around it. It's a kind of a square edged outline. So I'm going to make another change. Left click on this again. And here on the corners, I'm going to change them from square corners to rounded corners. So that, that gives us a, a, a better effect. But it's still a little bit complex. So I'm going to increase the size of the outline again. So double click change the width from 5 to 10 millimeters and click OK. So now we're getting closer to what we want. And of course you could go further, uh, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the Arrange menu and I'm going to select Convert Outlines to Objects. The reason I'm doing this is that I want to create a boundary around the outside edge of that outline. And to do that, I have to convert it to an object first. So I click Convert Outline to Object. It's going to take a little while to do that. OK, now it's converted the outlines to an object. And now I simply go to the Arrange menu and I choose Shaping and Boundary. It's put a boundary around the outside edge. I can now move that boundary over my original object. And I can obviously position it. I'm, I'm, I'm pressing the up and down arrow keys at the moment on the right left keys to move the, uh, move the uh, outline to a centralized position. And now the last thing, of course, I have to do is I have to right click on my cut contour tool to change the color of my outline to, you can see at the bottom right hand corner, 100% cut contour. Okay, last thing to do is delete this copy at the bottom, select all of my objects and export them as an EPS file. And that's it, fairly straightforward. Thanks for your time.